I really wanted to capture how addiction sometimes can take over like the mind and heart. Artwork depicting addiction and mental health issues are on display here at the Manitoba Legislative Building. The artwork done by high school students is aimed at normalizing conversations around accessing help for those dealing with issues around mental health and substance abuse. These kids want to make changes and they want to talk about everything. Rosetta Troya is a substance abuse counselor at Argyle Alternative School and says as part of Addiction Awareness Week, she was looking for a way to ease kids into conversations around mental health and addiction. Troya decided to use art, letting students sculpt, paint, draw and shoot videos as a way to express their own relationships with addiction and mental health. And, you know, I asked them about it, you know, so who's this or who are you talking about or what is this? And they shared. The school held a contest to select certain works of art to display at Manitoba's legislative building. The art was unveiled Friday as part of a ceremony marking May 7th as Child and Youth Mental Health Day. One of the students selected to display their art was Ocean Taves, who knows firsthand what addiction struggles look like after watching her uncle battle with substance abuse. It's hard. You see the, your loved one go through so many changes and uh, for my uncle he disappeared for a while, we didn't see him, he kind of removed himself from the family. It's, it's a really hard process to go through. With this I want to destigmatize addiction and dark parts of ourselves because people struggle with mental health, people struggle with addictions. Ricky Lynn Crane says she watched multiple members of her family struggle with addiction and she wants to break that cycle in her own life. Crane's artwork shows the dark side that can come out of all of us when we are struggling or need help and she hopes when people see her artwork they realize they are not alone and asking for help is the first step to recovery. This gives way for our youth and for our generations in the future to understand that it's okay to to talk about this stuff. Everyone struggles. Tyler Boyle says he has a smoking addiction and by sharing that with others it helps him find better ways to quit and understand why he started in the first place. Ella Whitfield drew a picture showing the internal battle between a person's heart and mind that occurs in addiction and says it felt incredible to be selected to have her art put on display. It felt so amazing even just being here and watching people view my art piece it's something that I can't even describe. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.